Loot, a starting point for your load order. Today we install it, add it to your mod manager, and learn some basics. Welcome to Gamer Poets. Loot's primary goal is to provide automated load order sorting to make sure master files load before plugins that require them, that master files are present where needed, and if there are any known incompatibilities in your load order. If you are new to load order or care for an in-depth breakdown of how it works, I've linked the video. All that loot requires is one game to be installed that it works with and that the game was launched at least one time since its installation so it can be detected. One installation of loot is all you need for all of your games. Open the loot website. Download. Download loot. You are brought to the most recent release. Scroll down to Assets. Download the loot executable. 32-bit for 32-bit systems, 64-bit for 64-bit systems. Run the executable. If you get this window, more info, run anyways. Select your language. Browse and choose a location to install Loot 2. It can be placed anywhere other than program files. I put mine with my modding tools. Once the location is selected, complete the prompts. Loot will auto-launch. Just close it. Mod Organizer and Vortex both come with parts of Loot built in. However, you can install the full program directly to either Mod Manager to get the full Loot interface and its features. Here's how to do that. MO2 Users Open Modify Executables Add Executable Add Empty Vortex Users Go to your dashboard Add Tool New Name, Loot. Click the option to the right of Target or Binary. Navigate to where you just installed Loot. Double-click Loot.exe. Apply and or save. OK. To use Loot, launch it from the Vortex dashboard or the Mod Organizer Run dropdown. The first thing to do after installation is to select the Game menu and make sure the correct game is selected. After that, update master list. Updating assures that plugins will be sorted with the most recent information available. Whether or not an update was made is shown at the bottom left. Going forward, the master list should automatically update upon launching loot, but it doesn't hurt to do it again manually. Just note that when the master list is updated, your load order may sort a bit differently. Also, master lists need to be updated for each game separately. This is the current list of plugins in your load order. The general information card is just that. It provides an overview of your load order, the status of Loot's master list, and general warnings such as whether or not you sorted plugins during the current session. Scroll through the plugin cards below. They provide plugin-specific information, such as if a plugin should be cleaned with XEdit. XEdit cleaning video here. If a plugin is a master file, if it's activated, and plenty more. Just scroll through the notes and hover over the icons. When you're ready to sort your load order, click the Sort Plugin button on the toolbar. Apply Sorted Load Order. Close the window. Changes to your load order will be applied. Note that sometimes changes may not happen. This just means that Loot doesn't see a reason to make any. Though you may still want to, or need to, make manual load order adjustments based on mob page directions or preference. To update Loot, uninstall the old one by navigating to the Loot folder. Double-click the Uninstall Executable. Follow the prompts. When done, install the new version by following this video back. And that's it. In my advanced video, we'll take a deep dive into the rest of what this program has to offer, including how to manually alter sorting results so that your plugins always end up where you want them. I'll see you then. Including how to manually alter is to provide automated load. 
Loot's primary dive into the rest of what this video... And that's it. And that's it. And that's it. And my... And that's it.